we is back with another video what's going on youtube what is up with y'all hope y'all doing good i'm doing good anyways y'all we're gonna be making some pop hunter type of um melodies so i recently heard is like his uh recent like it's like a, i i would call like a short ep i guess um really good one thing i noticed he's definitely a universal rapper like he i'm pretty sure if you throw him any beat with the 808s in key he'll definitely like go off but without further ado let's get right into it let's go ahead and cook up all right so we're around 100 bpm and right now i'm gonna go ahead and play the full melody for you guys right here All right, so to break down the sample, our first sound, we had grabbed Keyscape, put on the preset Grand Piano. And this is the MIDI right here. So simple. So this was like a really simple chord progression. Nothing too major. Pretty fire. And then for the effects, we have some Fruity Delay, some Fruity Chorus, some Valhalla. And then lastly, we have Paramici EQ. Basically took out some of the lows and boosted some of the highs. And with the delay, I basically turned down the mix volume because at 100%, it was just too too crazy. I, didn't, I wanted to tone it down. And same thing for the chorus. I didn't want it too much of a chorus effect, so I just turned it down. And then for our second sound, we have pulled out Electric X. And the preset that we have is called Arp Drankenstein. It's what it sounds like right here. And the reason why I had this sound in here is basically to put like a texture in the background, flash, ear candy. And the effects that we have for it is just some Valhalla, Paramixia EQ, and I think I put it on the 30 hertz and took out some of the lows and the highs. And then lastly, we put on a imager to basically spread it out. And then for our third sound, we have grabbed another Electric X uh, preset called X Files. And for some reason, guys, this sound reminds me of Fortnite when I first played it. I think it was like season one. But now I play Warzone. I don't play Fortnite anymore. It's trash now. I can't I can't compete. And then for the effects, we basically have the same effects that we did on the piano. All I did was right click it, went to file, um, hit save mixer track state eyes and dragged it right over. And we have the fruity delay, the chorus, the Valhalla. Permitri Q and that's pretty much it. Then I um then I right clicked on the channel the channel knob, right clicked uh create automation clip, and basically just put like a little dip right here. Um, it really didn't do much, but I was like, you know what, let me just do it. And then lastly, we have our vocal chop right here. Dragged it in, made sure that the vocal was on time, and then from there I just used my ears while the melody was playing and basically brought it down to um hundred cents all together with the vocals it sounded really really good straight vibes man straight vibes for the vocal effects i kept it really simple some valhalla and then on the permit EQ, I basically went to the presets, um, put on the 40 hertz. And I love doing that on all my vocal chops. I basically take out all the lows and the highs, and it just puts the vocal into the background. And then when I played it all together, it just, everything just glued together. But originally the sample did not sound like this. It actually sounded like this. I mean, it's not bad, but recently I've been using the um, sound shifter pitch and honestly, I like it 10 times better than when you actually just take the loop and just pitch it down. Um, and it only brought it down like four semitones. So I made sure that 
if I brought it down, one, two, three, four, that my 808s will still be in the sweet spot and my 808s will still hit once I make the drums. But let's go ahead and open up a new project so we can throw some drums over it. Grab a hi hat. We'll go into my. Oh, that fits perfect, actually. Hey, when it does that. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in our 808 right here. I mean, that's pretty much it right there bro like i mean we could go on the master right here hit this right here right here let me see I'm bringing like a I think we might put a face on in here yeah you know what that's what I'm gonna do All right, I'm gonna go to shark boys go to the growler <laughs> all right sure all right, let's go ahead and back it up. And we'll go ahead and put some very Hanancer over it. Yes, sir. And as you guys can see, the mixing is not even I haven't even messed with any of these knobs to be honest like besides using these knobs right here but basically how i do my mixing process is i'll put in the sound and i'll start leveling it with these knobs and then once i get like a good kind of mix i go here and if i need to turn things up or turn things down i'll use these knobs lastly and then from there we'll go on the master sock clipper or fruity limiter up to you up to you guys um, if I was gonna put a fruity limiter on here, let me see where's that. I would basically go to the envelope, turn down the tack, turn down the release, the sustain, um, bring up the ceiling. But actually, I wanted to make sure that it's hitting at zero. 
or below that to give some headroom because you don't want it to have no headroom if you send it to an artist perfect right here you can either same thing either fruiting limiter or soft clipper up to your choice and then the this eq right here is just to make your drums a little bit crispy i mean nothing too hard on the, the mixing and mastering part you don't have to go all crazy on it unless that's your style because at the end of the day everyone has like a different type of style and do not tell me uh, it is nighttime. i took that long to film this Nah, I'm just playing. I was just messing. I was doodling around. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the beat, guys. Pop Hona, he's a universal rapper, so he's definitely going to be going off on this beat. But yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know down below by leaving a like and a comment. It would really help out the channel a lot. Hope you're all having a good one. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.